Centralia Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Wanklin Oil, and First Heritage Bank. Think big this school year. As your child gets ready for a new school year, think beyond shopping for a bigger backpack or a bigger pair of shoes. You may also need to upgrade to bigger speeds for your home's internet connection. Blue Valley Technologies offers A-plus internet plans. Existing customers bump your speed and get a $50 bill credit. New customers, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net for more information today. Everyone has something that they do best. Banks are no exception. Ours is investing back into the local communities that we serve. We make loans to local families and businesses. These loans generate the dollars which empower our local community. Invest in our community by banking with us. We're an equal housing lender. First Heritage Bank in Centralia, Corning, Seneca, and Vermilion. Member FDIC, online at 1hbank.com. now, but somebody will get back to you eh, sometime. Yeah, th this is Frank Jones, and I'm switching propane companies. Why? Wanklin Oil has more to offer, and to be honest, better prices. They also gave me options to fit my budget, and in case you don't remember, I called last week because I was nearly out of propane. You never called me back. I'm now out of propane. Switching propane dealers is no big deal. Call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Wanklin Oil, we've had the energy since 1926. Joined now by head coach of the Centralia Panthers, Roger Holthouse. First off, coach, congratulations. 28-6 to win at Jackson Heights. How would you think your team played last Friday? Uh, we kind of had our uh, uh, times we played well and times we didn't look very sharp. Um, I thought early we just couldn't get up the field defensively early and then they went on a long uh, drive and uh, punched in and then we kind of settled down defensively for the most part. And then offense, we did a good job. We didn't get the ball very much. And we get two snaps in the first quarter because they took about the whole first quarter out. Then, uh, you know, I, we, we, we had some mistakes offensively that kind of hurt a couple drives. But overall, it, was, it, was, it wasn't bad. You still came out with the W, and I think at the end of the day, that's the most important part throughout this season. We talked about last week, you're kind of hitting the – a steady part in your schedule now, of course, getting right on into district play. What's one area that you want to see your team improve on the last three weeks before we get into playoff time? Well, I think uh, first, Max, I think it's we, we can't shoot ourselves in the foot. And, uh, I, I feel like sometimes we, we kind of did that Friday night where we had some drives, got penalties, and then got called back. That's one thing we need to get cleaned up. And, and I think defensively we just, you know, we, we need to get off the field when that, opportunity presents itself and um we, we need to get a lot better at that also so we got some work to do yeah but uh we're a team that's still growing yet in any sport you don't want to be at your plateau this point in the season you want that be in playoff time so that's what you're working toward now heading into this game against garden plains how how do you make sure these boys stay focused with an undefeated record still on the line for you guys well, I, I don't think we well, we don't really talk about the undefeated record as much mm -hmm. as uh, well, let's let's get a little bit better this week than last. Uh, if you keep improving each week, then you know time that playoff time rolls around, then um, and then you're hopefully you're playing your best football. But uh, as far as being undefeated, we we really don't even talk about not being undefeated or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We've got the next opponent on the schedule. Keep on marching forward. I know that's your motto over there. Yeah. Now, last question for you, Coach. I haven't asked you this yet this year. You've been obviously around the program for quite a few years now, but first year being a head coach, what has been the most rewarding part for you taking this position this year? I, uh, I think uh, yeah, it, it, we're not a team that's big by any means. We're, we're kind of small, and uh, we don't have a great deal of speed, but we got enough. I, I think they, they just they get along really well together, the group does, and – uh, they play hard, uh, even though when they do make mistakes, they're at least you know 100% mistakes. Uh, I think that's probably been the most rewarding thing, thing for me, because I think that's what a coach was. His kids play hard, and they they get along with each other. That's to me is you know that's kind of what you're in the business for. So uh, I'm very proud of the kids for that. One of the things from the outside looking in about your team is you are really playing together well 
as a team, and you can see that obviously in play and on film this year. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Coach, that does it for me today. We'll wrap it up with you. Best of luck coming up against Garden Plains, and I can't wait to talk to you again next week. Okay, I appreciate it. Centralia Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Wanklin Oil, and First Heritage Bank.